As a result of their many shared experiences, the players have come to reach a deeper understanding of their ultimate goal. I really want you to pay close attention this morning and uh, give your respect uh, to uh, the heroes we have uh, in this room today. Colonel Bob Brown, one of my former players at West Point, brought in four wounded heroes from Iraq and Afghanistan, and we tried to get across that selfless service. Let's face it, it's what makes teams great is selfless service. It's putting the needs of someone else before yourself. And on the basketball court, that may be diving for the loose ball or taking a charge. On the battlefield, it may be running into a, a, a wall of bullets, putting your life on the line for someone else. And, and that, to that level of selfless service. This was a lot more than playing the game of basketball. This was about patriotism. This was about pride in being an American and what's really at stake here. It's an honor for us to stand before you and work as a team uh, to motivate a nation, essentially, is what we're doing. Uh, we're doing it uh, on the battlefield. You guys are doing it on the court. Same team, Team America, because we are a family. We're not a family of blood, but we're a family because we represent a great nation. It wasn't just giving something to read or talk about. They needed to feel that. You have a, an experience like that, and it touches you a little bit deeper. An explosion went off. It just killed 22 people. Sergeant Steele was 10 feet away from the blast. The guy in front of him and behind him were killed. Uh, Sergeant Steele had uh, shrapnel in his neck, his back, his legs, lost a finger. No one expected him to come back, and he did not have to. But for the team, he came back. I think it opened everybody's eyes, you know, to realize, you know, what we're playing for. You know, we're not just playing for ourselves, we're playing for a whole country. I just felt like, okay, I'm injured, but I got to go back. Just a team. I feel, I feel like I was letting my team down. They represent the country, the troops, and, you know, that are fighting for, for us overseas. So um, it's just important that we represent them uh, well and, and, and make everybody proud. Scotty was riding that striker in that hatch, and one of those vehicles came right at him. Now, the natural instinct would be to drop down inside that armored vehicle, and you got a better chance. But that's not Scotty smiling. He stayed up and kept firing at the vehicle. When he did that, when it exploded early, a piece of shrapnel came and hit him in the eyes. It looks like uh, his eyes are, are normal. He does not have any eyes. They were taken out by that shrapnel and went through his head. He's got acrylic up for a portion of his skull. All of those wounded heroes, they wanted to go back and serve. The guys on our team were crying, you know, because they knew they were in the midst of people who took that selfless service to the highest level. I was over fighting, and I got a call uh, in Iraq that Scotty Smiley wants to stay in. They didn't know what to do. We never had a, a guy who was blind try to stay in. You know, come on, this doesn't make sense. But he fought to stay in. He's in, and he's still serving. That's a hero. These guests who shared their lives with us and their experiences and what sacrifices they've made for the country had a great impact on all of us. These are the flags we wore in our uniforms in Iraq, and uh, we got a flag for each one of them. I'm hoping they can put it on your warm-up jerseys, and what I'm hoping is that you look down, you'll see that flag, and you realize thousands of people have gone before you and sacrificed so you can be a great basketball player. And it'd be our hope you look down at this flag and there's a loose ball to get, there's four of you hitting each other on the floor because there's so many of you died before. And you're playing for the United States, and it's all about selfless service. And, and I can tell from the group, you're going to make us all proud. Scott, you hear me? All right, Scotty, right now, Blue is, Blue is getting into us right now. So, white team, we got to pick it up as a team. They're playing better than us. You hear me, Scotty? Y'all put y'all uniforms on. I know y'all got a lot of pride. Because we put these jerseys on. We feel a lot of pride walking around with USA on our chest. So I know y'all got a lot of pride. You guys are role models for a lot of us out here. We don't get a chance to tell y'all. Y'all are role models to us. And we respect what y'all do for our country.